I put together a binder for the person who's going to be my replacement principal since I've announced my retirement. And I wanted to show you what I put in this binder. All of these documents are also in Google Drive and I will share a folder or a file or some way figure out how to share all of these digitally. When I leave my school, my Google account will not be deleted. It will be locked from me and then others will still have access to all the documents. So I've tried to share all of the things in this binder with my secretary. Welcome to the binder. I love binders. I've always loved binders. That's why I enjoy creating this. Like I said, there all of these documents are in our Google Drive and there'll be a place for that. This is, I'm trying to think of a fun way to do a table of contents, but I have my table of contents here. And then my student discipline. There's a map. I didn't want to put that out here. I have the master schedule. I will create a master schedule for the new principal and then they can change it if they want to. Non-negotiables. I never really landed on this, but here's where I was with non-negotiables. This, I have all of our Monday early outs and all of our Tuesday grade level meetings. This is not completely filled out. It is filled out online. They will have access to the one that has more information, but this is just a reminder that I need to update this for that person. Writing data, any type of data you could put in yours, we started a new writing data thing. Action teams, leadership teams, student teams, this is my notes on that. So when they start working on that, it's leader and me, they can take a look at this. There are so many goals in our schools, school, whatever. I had to write them on one page so I would know. Usually I have this posted. They will have different goals, but they can see mine. We do a practice schedule for a variety of things. So when we start the school year, we have a end of the day dismissal practice. We practice going to the buses. We do that twice. We have recess practice. We have lunch practice. This will give them a hint what is practice for them to figure out. This is a schedule and who goes in order. My teachers go. There is an order of dismissal so that I know when the last class is out of the building. This is what I give the teachers for Meet the Teacher Night. They can glance at that. Parent volunteer information and handouts. They can use or not sign up information for parent volunteers. Let's see. Our back to school schedule. I actually have this back to school schedule in years. I probably have six to eight years of this schedule so they can see how I've done it for all of the years. If they want to, it's up to them, but that's in Google Drive. They'll have, an, have that. Discipline referral is a digital document. Tears is a digital document. We go over behavior. This is the behavior packet so that the new principal will know this is what these teachers are used to. And this is just a packet of information with everything included that we talk about and they can have, they can have that. Willard 101 is our district 101. Let's see, hallway expectations. I need to throw those away. We're not using those. Anyway, Willard 101 is the back to school for new teachers. They can see that. My purpose is a quick flip through for them. I want them to be able to, if they hear something, you go, I think I saw that in the binder, and then go grab the binder and put it um, and put it in there. Let's see. I had a uh, an instructional person do important dates. This is from the superintendent. This is the calendar. Oop, there's the map. Car pickup, building map, reading success plans. Um, base is now called academic interventionist, so I need to change the name on that. Substitute, I put together information for substitutes from the office, and then teachers put information. You can buy substitute planning information on Teachers Pay Teachers, but I do substitute planning like from the office. There, these are the things that we have to have in the substitute folder. This is something from uh, the district substitute information, I'll add mine to this. All goes in the substitute folder or whatever. Just an idea. I'm not saying that's the law, but that just reminds me to put something in there. Lead team is our admin team. I'll put some of this information in there or throw that away, but I just kind of wanted to them to have 
a little bit of information on lead team and what we do for that. My building improvement plan is not done. We have an obstacle course, obstacle course request form, behavior expectations. This is probably for earlier in the binder, but we have behavior expectations. That's what this is. Again, I think I flipped through this part. You already saw those. This must have been what we gave the teachers. Classroom setup. At the beginning of the year, you forget. Teachers just want to get out of here so they don't have classroom setup guidelines. That's what this is. There's a digital copy. I'll give that to them. Begin your practice again. A lot of this is redundant. I apologize for that because I really just wanted to get this video recorded and just jump through this. But a lot of this is, I've shown you a couple of times, bus lineup. I always get the bus lineup at the beginning, so I have that. But that is a starting point for a binder for the person who is going to be taking my place whenever I leave. And hopefully they'll be in position before I'm gone so I can show it to them. If they want to use it, great. If they don't want to use it, that's up to them as well. But I'd rather them have be as successful as possible under this scenario. That wraps up the binder video. I have stopped putting things in the binder currently because I feel like I need to wait until someone is hired to fill my position and then determine what's helpful or what's not helpful. I'm going to spend a lot of time and maybe waste a lot of time putting stuff in there. And I, I just don't feel like that's a valuable use of my time. If I remember, I will share with you some other things that I have put in there before my replacement is, is hired and announced. It looks like they will post my position the month of December and interview in January and hopefully hire by the January board meeting or the February board meeting. And then I can begin to help transition that other principal if they even want my help. I totally understand they can throw away the binder and not use any of my help. We'll just have to see. Thank <laughs> you.